Hello everyone and thank you for watching my picture box pan zoom crop and more revisited video. Um, I'd like to tell you what this app is really about. I've been doing a lot of research on picture boxes on the internet and I'm using it in my application and uh, I just wanted to show you all the little tweaks and uh, different settings and features that I've been able to incorporate into uh, the basic video Visual Studio uh, picture box and I'll go ahead and run the app for you and show you what I've got it doing and then we'll go in through the code behind and see how it all functions okay here you see in the middle of the screen the image viewer uh, right now it's just a blank image. If you right click on the screen you can load an image and this context menu strip is one of the things that we'll cover. Let's go ahead and load an image. As you can see here it defaults to JPEG. I also have it set up to view all image files. You can load anything from JPEG, TIFF, bitmap, and PNGs. Uh, the highest resolution I would recommend running would be uh, 600 dots per inch. Anything over that uh, seems to really, really slow down picture box. So let's go ahead and load just a basic image. And you can see here I've got the image loaded. I've got some scroll bars I can scroll through. Now if you right click on the menu, you can see I have other options now available to me. The pan tool cursor changes to a hand and now I can drag around on the screen. The select tool, I can go ahead and select an item of the screen. Now once I have a rectangle drawn, if I right click, I have the option to copy selection or print selection. Copy selection copies it to the clipboard. So let's go ahead and click on that and now it's in the clipboard and approve that I will open up a document here and paste it and you can see I've got the cropped section uh, in my Word document. The other thing uh, nice feature about this when I've been doing research on the internet is that uh, the basic functionality for the rectangle box that I found would only draw in this uh, way. You would only be able to go from upper left to lower right. Uh, I've done some tweaking on the, on the utilities or the uh, functions and most of these functions I've gotten off the internet and I've just tweaked on them so uh, I give kudos to the people that have done the basic development of them. Uh, you can now draw your box in any direction, which is a nice feature. Uh, the zoom factor, I've got it set to five different zoom functions. Click on each one, you'll be able to zoom in and out on the thing. Also, if you notice the checkbox here, I've also set up a little function to check the one that's checked and uncheck any other one. So now if I zoom to 200 and go back and check that zoom, you'll see now that that one's checked and that one's not checked. That's a little routine that I had created to uh, make that work. There's no automatic feature in Visual Basic for that. You've got the feet option of rotating the image. Uh, I've just got it rotating by 90 degrees. Here, let's go ahead and zoom out so you can actually see that. Rotate the image. And then I've got uh, reset image, which will just take you back to your initial default settings. And once you select an option, a section of it, you can also print that. And I've got it set up to print to my PDF printer, so I'll just go ahead and save that. And as you can see here, that I actually have printed that selection. You can uncheck the tools if you want. You can also go ahead and load another image. Let's load a high res image. 
and let's go ahead and pan a little bit. See here, the image is huge. Let's go ahead and zoom down. I'm going to zoom all the way down and get a better picture of it here. And now let's go ahead and select a section. And let's copy that to a document. So you can see that there's a lot of nice functionality in this. So let's go ahead and close this and let's go ahead and get started on setting it up.